player to me delivers capabilities that are specific to the job that I'm not seeing in anyone else. It's hard, to, it's hard to describe. It's very hard to describe, but you know it when you see it. So it's someone typically that has a depth of experience that may be directly related or indirectly related. And it is someone whose ability to apply that experience to the role that I'm looking to fill or someone in an organization is looking to fill, their ability to apply their, their developed aptitudes towards the role uh, definition uh, is demonstrated. So they've demonstrated an ability to take the skill sets that they've, they've built within themselves and apply them against a job definition, a description. Critical to that is having a really robust job description. So we spend a lot of time um, poring over the job description, thinking about what we're expecting that professional to do, um, how they will lead, and and again, the aptitudes, the, the core skills that they'll need to have for that job. We have a culture uh, and it has five tenets to it, and we interview against those five tenets. So we are looking for a demonstration of focus, alignment, accountability, integrity, and trust. Now, integrity is the hardest of those to interview for, uh, but you can certainly uh, uh, identify in someone's skill set their ability to focus, their ability in, in prior roles and assignments to focus on a task at hand, their ability to align their resources or themselves with other parts of an organization. Uh, accountability is typically in results, and so we can, we can talk to an individual in the interview process about their accountability. Have they been accountable? Have they delivered on what they have said uh, they would deliver on? And integrity and trust are the intrinsic uh, components that are very difficult to interview for, but you feel them. When you're talking to someone and you are spending time with them and you're interviewing them and the stories that they tell you, begin to develop your framework around their integrity and what integrity means to them. And that drives trust. So again, the trust is earned. And so in an interview process, you're, you're not going to discern trust, but you might get a feeling for the level of integrity, which will, will again be um, driven into trust over time. We try to hire only A players. So uh, in candor, it's very difficult to know on, on in the hiring process if you actually have an A player. Uh, but you're working very hard towards the definition of an A player to find the person with this right skill set that can apply it at a level above um, uh, the level of application of aptitude that someone else could bring to the table. Always looking to hire A players. We, we do not walk in, interview someone and say, well, they're a pretty good B, so let's hire them. Um, that's, that's not how we run our, our operation. So we're striving to always hire A players. We've made mistakes. I've made mistakes in hiring, and you, re you reflect on those and either try to improve the, the, the um, delivery of the professional that you've hired, or you move on with and make another decision. But again, we're always trying to hire A players. <laughs>